to me this morning. It's 5 a.m. and I'm going for a run. day today and I'm quite flying quite far from London to Canada like eight or nine hours I've never been to Canada before and so I just kind of figured because that's a really long time to be just like sitting down and doing nothing I just felt I really wanted to move my body this morning while I could um, and I feel good now that I've done it but that's not normal for me to get up that early for a run but I do feel all right, and I was thinking also that I can nap on the plane. But anyway, hello everybody. My name is Christiane, and welcome to my channel, Backpacking Bananas. Um, you may be wondering why am I going to Canada? I'm wondering the same thing. <laughs> no, my friends are getting married. My friends Courtney and Jamie, uh, who I met in New Zealand six years ago on my working holiday visa in New Zealand. And they also met each other during that time, which is why this is so special. And Courtney's from Canada, Jamie's from Scotland, but the two of them have been living together in Canada. This wedding was supposed to happen exactly last year, but obviously because of the pandemic, that didn't happen. And so the time has come around where the postponed wedding is happening and i'm so excited because i'm going to canada for the very first time canada is somewhere i would love to spend like a fair bit of time and like do a working holiday i'm not doing that on this trip i'm literally just going for 10 days and if you can't see this is my suitcase it's huge um because i paid for checked in luggage just because like if you know me and you know my videos you know that i have been traveling with hand luggage only for like the past two to three years and that is how i like to travel However, for an occasion such as a wedding, I just feel like it'll just be nice to like bring my nice wedding guest dress with lots of like options and heels, makeup, and like, you know, my big liquids, my nice big shampoo and conditioner. I just thought, you know what, Christiane, treat yourself. Treat yourself to a piece of checked in luggage for a special occasion. So that's exactly what I'm doing. 23 kgs is my limit. So I need, I need to weigh this. Okay, I think I'm good. My allowance is 23 kgs. This is 20. 20. <laughs> Everything has just run mega smoothly so far. So checking in was really, really smooth. There was no queue whatsoever. And I was really pleased. I thought I might have been too early to check in. So I was like literally over four hours early, but no, I was able to drop my bag. I'd actually already checked in for the flight online. They just checked like my Arrive Canada app and all was good. Security, there was not much of a queue at all. I feel like airports at the moment are just really hit and miss. Like you hear so many like worrying stories of, like, online of like there being strikes and delays and to be fair I've heard very bad things of Canada so when I arrive in Toronto we'll see what happens but my Gatwick experience so far has been very smooth and I've come to Sonoma restaurant in Gatwick North Terminal um, to have a little bit of brekkie I had some Abo smash I've got myself a nice coffee and I'm gonna get try and get a little bit of work done before my friends arrive this is like part of the reason that I arrived to the airport so early was because I just wanted to get shit done and I knew I wouldn't get it done at home before coming to the airport so now seems like a good time now also seems like a good time to introduce you to the sponsors of today's video Surfshark so if you don't know Surfshark are a VPN which stands for virtual private network which has a whole host of benefits but one of the best benefits is actually used in places like an airport or anywhere where you are connected to a public wi-fi network because did you know when you are connected to these public wi-fi networks like in an airport for example or in a cafe or anywhere where it's not like a private connection with a password your device is at risk of being hacked and so and so what hackers can do is via your public wi-fi connection 
they can get into your device. However, if you have a VPN switched on, then it acts as like a virtual shield on your connection and hackers can't get into your device. So I feel like it's just an absolutely essential thing to have in this day and age. And not only that, you can have benefits such as changing the uh, virtual location of your device. So this means that you can access media that might not be available in your country or in the country that you are in. If you want to switch your Netflix back to the United States or back to the United Kingdom, as opposed to wherever you're going, you can do that literally with just the click of a button. It's so easy. And as always, Surfshark are giving you guys an amazing discount where you can get 83% off plus an extra three months free when you use my code backpacking or using the link in the description. So I 100% have Surfshark switched on now as I am and browsing at the internet. Yeah, hopefully I managed to get some more bits done before my friends arrive. Just because we haven't seen each other in so long. And so I just feel like as soon as they arrive, we're just going to be chatting and catching up the whole time. And I, I'm really, really excited to see them, to be honest. But then we do have nine hours on the flight together. So I'm just excited to be here, to be honest. I'm always out at the airport. It's always a happy time. Never sad to be here. Hey! <laughs> How's it going? I'm well, thanks. How are it's you? Nice to see you. How embarrassing. <laughs> <laughs> wow! <laughs> Ooh. And if you triple, oh, triple click the bottom right. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> and then it recenters as well. Meet my friends. As a California surfer dude. I have some new sunglasses. So stupid and lovable. Courtesy and of George. Them in, in I'm not George. George. No, but George, but George is George. Let's introduce these two to the channel. This is George and this is Karen. And we met six years ago on a working holiday visa in New Zealand. Sweetest. And we are reuniting in, well, in Gatwick Airport, but in Canada. Okay, let's have a little insight into the movie choice on Air Transat. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> it's going to be so hard for you to make a video on travelling with that day. George, <laughs> the joke's going to get old sorry, soon. Sorry, sorry, sorry. The joke's already old. <laughs> the joke is already old. All right. Especially because we've been sat on the tarmac for an hour. So, um, Aquaman, that is something I would watch. Batman Returns, E.T. E. I haven't heard of the rest of them though. Uh, we've got. Um, oh, I see Rebel Wilson. I would definitely consider watching that because I love her. Um, Jason Bourne. What else have we got here? The Lego movie. Mamma Mia, here we go again. 100% have to watch that. Even though I've watched it a million times, I will watch it again. We've got the Matrix Resurrections here, Minions, Marry Me, Ocean's Eleven. I only know a fraction of these movies, to be fair. Shrek 2, we could definitely consider watching that. What else have we got on this screen? Do, 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 bistro. What about, what about drinks? Duty Free? Is that something you can buy on the plane? Or do you have to... Ooh. I don't know what's going on there. As far as I'm aware, Air Transat is like the budget version of Air Canada. I think it's a Canadian airline, but I had to pay extra for um, checked in luggage for this flight because, and I paid quite a lot actually. So George booked his flight about three months ago and he paid 400 pounds for a return from Gatwick to Toronto and back again with no checked in luggage included. I was not so smart and I booked about two months ago and for a one way with checked in luggage included it was 500 quid and then I paid like another 350 quid for the return. So I paid about 850 quid all in all for a return from London with checked in luggage. So it wasn't, it wasn't super cheap. Aeroplane prices are just going up and up and up recently because of the circumstances. Yeah. What just call them the circumstances of just everything in the world going on right now. It is like the budget airline. So if we want any food, we will have to pay for it, which I probably will because I forgot to pick up any snacks in the airport because I was forgetful. 
Our flight is very, well not very, but it's a little bit delayed. We've been waiting on the ground here for over half an hour now and it was already like over 45 minutes delayed. At what point do you get compensation on that delayed flight? That's what I want to know. Yeah. But the boys are good. Right, I've gone for a veggie pasta. Looks all right, actually. Do you have chicken? Oh, oh so good. very nice. Seven pound too. That five AM run is uh, catching up on me. Shouldn't have done that. Really, really appreciate. It. Are you sure you don't want to? You're an angel. Thank you. You might as well have that. Kieran has. Or you've got so much wine. Let's go. Cheers to you and all your three glasses. Cheers to not remembering getting into Toronto. Yeah. Cheers. 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 We've arrived in Canada. We're in Canada, We're in Toronto. eh? We're in Canada, eh? Hey. Eh? That's what they say in Canada, isn't Sorry. it? Canada. Maple syrup. Oh, Maple Canada. syrup. Can you tell that we don't come to Canada often? I don't think you can. <laughs> we will be drunk. It's the whole first time, and I am smashed. Wow. Well, wow. when you travel with friends. So, uh, getting off the plane is as chaotic as you could imagine. Especially after both of us got absolutely smashed on the flight. I, just, I drank far too much. I, I literally got to the point where I was like, I can't drink anymore or I will be sick. Am so I on a so night out? Decided. No, I'm not. She I'm on sick. a flight in the middle of the day. I shouldn't be like this. Yeah, well, anyway, we're off to bar now. Anyway. We're gonna get off the plane, that's probably for the best. He got a complimentary sleeping bag. So I am a... Option plus. Option plus. <laughs> if you get an option plus, like option, when you fly with uh, Air Transat, Pringles and just expect to be given everything under the sun for free. Like the wine, Pringles, a sleeping bag. They like to give you everything. George, in the meantime, has just been living his best chilled life. Okay, so we're gonna get off the plane now. We actually don't know how we're going to get to our accommodation yet. That's yet to be discussed. Yet to be confirmed, yet to be discussed, yet to be um, figured out. Thanks, guys. Bye, guys. See you later. Take care. Bye. Oh, thank you. Oh, no, thank you. I've heard Canadian people are really nice. This is going to be a good time, we hope. As long as they live up to their expectation. If not, then we're not going to be in for such a good time. Oh, Canada. I, for one, am excited for some poutine. I don't know about you. So we're going to get a SIM card with these guys. It's called Chatta. And I'm going to go with the, it says $50 for 10 gigs. It's actually like 67 or something because of tax, which is like 42 quid or 43 quid or something like this. I hope that there's good service, but they're the only ones in the airport. Canada souvenirs, <laughs> Canadian souvenirs. Wow. 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 Oh, wow. All right, let's check in. Let's go. Bye. It's like all your luggage. There you go. What's that? Pulley? No, fucking the CN Tower. Oh. <laughs> Can you believe that my first meal in Canada is Japanese poutine? Not a regular poutine. That'll be for the next vlog. Japoutine. So we've got chips, we've got bacon, I think there's parmesan. What else made it Japanese? Sesame seeds. Sesame seeds. The, chips are rolls. the, chi the chips are. The chips are definitely Japanese. It's Defi just fucking, definitely. It's, it's just poutine with sesame seeds. It's just poutine with sesame seeds. And some spring onion. Okay, got Japanese, it. You have the Japanese warriors. Yeah. Feast on chips. We've come to the restaurant's called Film, Film Cafe. Cafe. Film Cafe. And everyone's gone for a slightly Japanese meal. Mm -hmm. Either teriyaki chicken. What have you gone for, Jess? Oh, I was just a vegetarian. A vegetarian. Teriyaki. 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 Mm -hmm. 
mm. into a, like a mm. What I'm expecting to eat in Canada is more bacon, but with like maple okay, syrup. So that's Canadian. I really want to just eat all the very stereotypical Canadian things because I just feel like that's what I need to do when I'm in Canada. What are like the other stereotypical Canadian dishes? Poutine. 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 Maple syrup. Hot dogs. Maple syrup. Corn dogs. Corn dogs. Maple syrup. Maple syrup. Yes. Stay. And, and, <laughs> and, and a Canadian. You want me to eat a Canadian? You might be eating Canadian by the end of this trip. Let's see. Oh 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 oh, 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 Look, you never know who I'm going to meet at the wedding, raining, guys. So it's it's raining. Raining. No, I think it's raining. Man, miso is so good. What even is mm. it? What the fuck mm. is miso? Mm. It's a fish. So all in all, I'd say it was a smooth and successful journey across the Atlantic from London to Canada. Also, I feel like it went really quickly. I noticed that the flight path takes you seemingly north up over Iceland in order to arrive in Toronto. And I guess that's because of the globe shape. These kind of details always really fascinate me when I'm flying to new destinations across the world. And it was so nice to also take a flight with my friends because I feel like so often I travel by myself and that it's actually a rare and wonderful occurrence for me to have company, which is probably why I got a little bit overexcited and drank too much. Or perhaps that's just because I'm back with my Queenstown friends who I haven't seen in so long and it just feels so good to be back together. Stay tuned to see what we get up to in Canada. If I'm honest, it's not going to be a whole lot of exploring as our priority is just making it to this wedding but who knows where we may end up. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one. Bye bye! Mm -hmm.